Hi everybody, this is Dollar. Here's a sneak peek of the finished product. This video is going to be about an hour, hour and a half long, so I decided uh, late term to go ahead and break it into parts. Here's the next part. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'm going to install the fans now, and then I'll install the GPU. I'm actually saving the GPU for later because I'm actually still using it in my other system. I'm going to have to pull it out and put it over here. But I'm going to go ahead and put the fans in for now. These are the Corsair RGB LL120 fans. Uh, they have a fan that's RGB as well as a separate ring. As you can see in the picture there. I'm going to have that one at the back of the case. I'll have three at the bottom and then three here at the back have this as intake, intake, exhaust, and these are set as exhaust. Again, this is going to be exhaust. So there's arrows at the top here pointing out and shows the rotation, which is actually this way. And I'm actually going to put the wire on the side on this one as not to be resting right up against the motherboard. What we're going to do is put this on up here. Again, you want to be, pay attention to the direction because this one's an exhaust. So we want it pulling out that way and then it, so it's going to rotate this way here. I put the wires over here on the side and I'm just going to run them down rather than having them resting on top of the motherboard itself. So that'll be a little bit easier to route them through. So these attach from the back. So I'll go ahead and attach these four screws and to keep the fan in place. And continuing to install the fans down here, one of the things I realized is that all of these fans are exhaust fans. Otherwise, they turn over and they look like this on the back. They don't have the lighted ring. So I'm kind of changing the airflow in this where the I'm going to reverse these fans up here to be intake, and I'll continue to have this as exhaust, these as exhaust, and those as exhaust when I put those in. Um, so hopefully I'll monitor the temperature on that and hopefully I won't have to swap them out and reverse them because I don't know why they don't make an intake fan that has RGB on the right side, but um, they don't. At least uh, Corsair doesn't. So I will Give this a shot, we'll monitor the temperatures and see how it works. When installing three fans like this, I just put them in so they're loose but secure. And I can adjust them before tightening them up for a final tightness. On this case, the frame that mounts the fans comes out. So we'll slide that back in. Make sure you don't crush any of the wires back here. It just snaps down like that. Two screws go here. So we'll put those in. I went ahead and swapped out the fans here. So now they're sucking in. So I'm not so concerned about it sucking cold air in through the radiator, what I'm concerned about is it blowing hot air right across the motherboard and the whole system here to get out through these other areas. So I'll keep an eye on the temperatures and we'll see how it goes. These panels just have little snaps here and they come right off. And you can put SSD drives on these or you do like I'm going, to, I'm going to put a bank of fans in there. Also exhausting. I'm putting the rest of the fans here, I removed the SD holders. 
which I'm probably not going to use those. So I'll just save them. Um, but I got two of the fans started. I'll put the third one here. Again, run the wiring through the grommet. Okay, I have all the fans on. Oh my gosh, there's 10 fans. Um, anyway, uh, now the next thing I gotta do is connect all the wirings to the command controller, put the video card in, and give it a go. The fans come with a Lighting Node Pro, which I believe is this piece, and a fan hub. I'm also going to be using the Commander Pro, uh, so I'll figure out. I don't think we're going to be needing this. I think everything's going to plug in here. The lighting node, I think, is still used, so let's figure this out. Even though this is a big case, there's not a lot of room to mount something this big. This is the Commander Pro unit. I thought about putting it here, but if I do that, I don't think the case will close. So I'm going to try to get it up here on this panel. So I had to put all my, plug all my six fans in there and added two of the extensions from the bottom ones. And so that will fit up into this corner here. Commander Pro also comes with four temperature probes. So those will go through one of the grommets and you place them in different locations on near the motherboard like near the CPU and so forth to see what your temperatures are and then the other ends plug into the Commander Pro. So the four sensors go into where it says temp one through four and you have to remember which probe you set where so when you're looking at the temperatures you'll know what's heating up or not. This is the RGB LED hub, which works with the Lighting Node Pro and does the colors. So they have to be, the fans have to be sequential from one through six. Um, so they, they do animations and such that will sequentially animate. So to get them in the right order is important. So fan one, we're going to go here and so forth. The Commander Pro has a power connection that I'm going to plug in here. This is at the end of the same power connector that I used to plug in these hot swap drives. So it was just an extra one that was right there, so it was convenient. And the other cord coming out of the Commander Pro is a USB connector, and that's going to go through the grommet and onto the motherboard. So I routed the USB connector from the Commander Pro out and it's going to go on this board onto these two, either of those two connectors. There's a, looks like an eight pin connector, but one of the pins is missing. So make sure you align, you can see in this one, one of the pins right here is missing. It's the same thing, there's a plug on the, the receptacle or the actual plug and it only goes on one way. Since the Commander Pro only has slots for six fans, I can use a jumper, which I bought, or I can plug it directly into the motherboard. So this fan here, here's the plug. I'm going to put it in that fan header right there. You got the seventh fan plug connected right there to the motherboard header. I plugged all six RGB fans into the Corsair LGB LED hub and I mounted it to the side, the back of the hard drive case. The bottom of the LGB hub also requires power. So I'll also connect it into one of the, what I was calling a SATA adapter. Here's one down here, I'll plug it in here. The Lighting Node Pro has a USB connector, so that's going to plug into there, and then the back of this will go into the motherboard, 
or better yet, there's USB plugs on the Commander Pro itself. I'm going to plug them in right there since the Commander pl plug, since the Commander Pro is plugged into the motherboard. Then I'll plug the other end, the power side of the, the Lighting Node Pro, into the cable, power cable here. Plug the RGB extension cable into the bottom of the RGB LED hub and the other end is going to go into the Lighting Node Pro here. Like that. I bought two sets of fans and both came with a Lighting Node Pro. I'm going to take the second Lighting no Node Pro and plug it into the RGB hub of the seventh fan and then attach that into the second slot LED slot in the first lighting node pro. The second set of fans I bought also came with a RGB LED hub so I had, went ahead and plugged the fifth fan into there. Uh, plug that into the lighting node pro into the second node on that and also connected it to power. So I test fit the side panel, put it on here and found out these RGB LED hubs will fit on the side of these cases without any interference. So I went ahead and mounted them there. It's a little easier to see and get access to.